Hello, welcome back to the garden. It is early September, so I thought we'd do a tour of the vegetable gardens, a little update, a little walk about. We've passed through the dog days of summer. We're coming out into just starting to get cooler weather. And that's okay because we're busy harvesting. It's a gorgeous time of year. I've been very busy harvesting, uh, making sure I'm keeping up. It's just me doing it uh, because I do rely on my food, the vegetables, for to feed us for a year. So that means I just have to keep at it bit by bit. But let's look around and see what's going on early September. I'll show you first what Bruce has been up to. He's at it again with the rocks. Can't stop him. He has time on his hands again now, so he's back at it. Um, we're, he's raising, well, this is already one foot more than what you would have previously seen. And he intends to go up a bit higher. I don't know if it's two feet, three feet. We'll see. He's going to make a window here. I don't know how. So we still have our view. But the point and the intention is we found that when we sit in here, uh, if there's winds, which very often there is, if it's not a, a clear night for the fire pit inside, we're still getting the wind coming in. So we wanted it a bit higher. This is already, we sat and had a fire last night, and this is already uh, over our heads. So, but he's going to keep going because he wants this window thing. I'll show you closer. So if I sit down, right here is where he left off. It was deep at first, but then he leveled everything out inside, put down the uh, crushed stone, and it raised it a bit. So it just hit would hit our heads. But now, as you can see, it's already over our head, and it was lovely last night. Here is um, where he's added, and he's intentionally given us a shelf inside to put your glasses and cups on. Here is where the portal will be. You see, we'll still get a beautiful view. And I had rescued some bubble wrap. And this is what he's using, I guess, for what you call it, a portal, to, as his guide for uh, putting the window in there. And he's also over here made sure we have some extra land somewhere and he uh, has gone down, gathered the wood, and that should do us. Now coming out of the fire pit, uh, this area still looks crazy, but it's been beautiful. The flowers have come and gone. I've been keeping up with the herbs, drying and processing them. And all in all, it's been really pretty, but uh, a lot of it's all gone now. This is our fox friend, oopy dooping everywhere. You can tell he's really enjoying blueberries these days. And I'll come around the other end and show you up here. So I'll just do a scan here. First, we'll start with those beautiful sunflowers who have withstood all the wind that's been thrown at them. Whereas my gladioli have, uh, well, they're dying now, but they uh, certainly fell quickly. In the far corner, I have some rhubarb. Then my onions, I've been taking out as they're falling over. And um, some of them were my green onions, like these ones right here, that I didn't need half as many, but now they're just going to be lovely white onions for me. I have some cabbages. I took out the other day the potatoes that were, the few extra potatoes that uh, were overflow that I put here. And this middle row is uh, beans for semi-dry and dry. I'm slowly picking away at those. I'm really pleased with how many I've given. The squash, well, not as many squash this year, I don't think, but let's see if I can get in here. I know there's two down in here. And it's my reliable celebration squash. I can always count on them and they last indoors on my shelf for a year. Fennel, I think there's cauliflower, there's celery, a couple of celery. The squash has nothing at all, which is disappointing. Little cherry tomatoes. Um, well, the beans everywhere. These are <laughs> 
from over there. They're climbing everywhere. Some kohlrabi, oh, that's bulking up nicely. Uh, snow peas and snap peas, they're going over now at this point. But I have cucumber plants in here, so hopefully I'll get something there. And then that was some tomato plants. I think it might be red robin that I, I just threw in really late uh, because I had nothing in this soil here. And they're, they're getting tomatoes. I really wasn't expecting much, so that's great. So, that's this area. Over here was my early, early spring garden. Everything's pretty much out of there now. And then down here, again, flowers that have come and gone. But we just enjoy seeing each one as they have their day. In this little nook, my son has a forge, and it really works well. It's kind of surprised me. Well, he doesn't have the whole setup here right now, but um, I've watched him at it. It's quite amazing. Now, we'll leave this area. We'll uh, head out down to that, uh, my braised beds later. But first, over here is where I have some more veggies. There's a lot of buzzing going on up here. Here's some uh, Jerusalem artichokes, and they're flowering. I don't harvest those ones. Broad beans are almost done. They're still getting late flowers, so I leave them in and keep picking away at those. Here's where I took out potatoes already. And here's some russet Burbank. They're looking like it won't be long for those. And here also, there's a parsnip in the middle. And that's where I took out my other potatoes, the Norlands and the Irish cobbler. Here's my corn and some scarlet runner beans. Looks a bit of a mess, but uh, I did just take two ears in yesterday. Haven't had them yet. I'd like some more. Over here, oh, isn't that pretty? This is where I have some more Scarlet Runner beans. Doing really well. And, well, I've got down here a watermelon. Pardon my shadow. But it is not able to hang on to any that I've found yet anyway. However, better luck with my... Where is it? I've got a um, cantaloupe melon. Can't remember the name right now. Where is it? A little fellow there, and I'll go around and show you the other one. Whether they make it, you know, they may. Because um, there's some squash, but again, it's a little late. I don't know if that one got pollinated. It's patty pan, I guess. And where's the other one? Right in here. Which I think is adorable. I think they may make it. They still got a month and a week or two. I'm going to have lots of scarlet runner beans for drying. Here's a sad state, but they're doing okay, I think, of my rutabaga. They're coming along in here. I don't know what else I've got? They're just madly eaten. But uh, come more fall, that's when I'll pull these out. And then this is the paddy pan I showed, I think, the other day. Let's get another one on it. It's a really healthy plant. So that's the, this area. It's been very productive so far for what I've put in it. I'm very pleased. Now we'll go to the beds. I'd like to say hello, by the way. Clayton, who stopped up to see me and I wasn't home. I understand you watch my videos, so thank you so much for uh, uh, watching. But if you're ever in this area again, please stop by. I see my storage onions are just starting to fall over, which I think by this time last year I had already harvested them. But they're getting uh, large because they're just medium-sized onions for my storage, but uh, I've got Red Baron and Sturron, and uh, a few things mixed in. I'll show you some of them. Still getting a few snap peas from the later ones, and then some I'm leaving for seed. 
And here's my onions. There's one, two, three that have flopped over. But the majority are still standing. So I won't pull them just yet. I'm, I'm slowly taking some in. But they're a great size for uh, a mid-sized onion. Oh, this is lovely. And here is a, well, there's celery, later celery. I think that's a cue ball summer squash there. It's caught on, I'm glad to see. My carrots and buckets are looking great now, really good. Best ones yet, I think. These I pull into my garage. I just have to make sure I keep up in the watering with those. Do they ever dry out fast? Due to my interplanting, I think I'll just go through bed by bed and show you where things are. So there's a lot of holes. I've been uh, pulling produce as it's ready out. So what's left? Let's go through. We've got, um, I have, I did have success with this globe artichoke and there's two pups there. And uh, I've got a squash plant that's not mounting to anything. Again, many, many, many broccoli you're going to see throughout that I've cut. And we've been heavily eating and some that I just can't keep up with. Then there's more of the kale, the celery in here. Let's see how it's doing. I haven't even harvested any yet. Yeah, it's beautiful. So it's, my celery's coming along everywhere. I won't go through them all, but I harvest those toward the end of the season. There is a celebration squash and it's taking on its color, so looking great. This is a red cabbage. It's heading up beautifully. The cabbage moth doesn't like the red cabbage. Note to self, Greta. And then my leeks. And then I've just got carrots underneath them, but I've been pulling those. This bed has, uh, this is a squash plant that just hasn't produced. I don't know what it is. Giant kale globe artichoke that did not produce. I thought it was cold enough that I put them through, but apparently not. And then whether, yeah, these will be late and that's fine. Once this stuff comes out, the carrots will take off more and that celery in there will. There's more leeks, cabbage. Uh, this is some of the late onions, that uh, the green onions I have to pull. Leek more cabbage and celery and broccoli. Flip over. Let's go this way. So Swiss chard we've been eating heavily. There's another broccoli coming up from, um, I think it's called Magic. But uh, I do need to get out here and get more of these for processing for my freezer. Um, broccolini, broccoli oh beets over here. Harvested a few of those. I've got some beans. I let this squash plant just kind of carry on. It's gone all over the bed. It's okay. It shades some things and others. But I have one in there. I don't know what it is though. I'm excited for that. And more kale. Here we have, aside from my crazy garlic that I just love, it's my perennial garlic. I just love the look of it. Some cosmos, some kale. Oh, broccolini that I did not get. All gone to seed. We'll cut that out. Uh. Just much of the same. I've got my Hubbard squash here. It's growing. I'm so excited about that. Beans. Uh, celebration down in here. More broccolini. More leeks. More cabbage. Celery. Got a theme going here, don't I? Um, another globe artichoke with nothing. I didn't... Uh, didn't do well with those this time. 
So these beds were my garlic all finished and some just a little bit of succession plants in here. Two sunflowers, late ones, but I think those are teddy bears. They should come out. The fox has been digging in here. Parsley. Yeah, some seedlings I hope to see. Um, lettuce and different greens coming up there. And then there was, these were uh, some starts I started inside of, looks like red cabbage and probably broccoli. And the same for this other garlic bed. I guess that's Swiss chard. We'll see what comes. Now my tomatoes are, uh, I've shown these. I just har pulled in, oh, I don't know, six I think yesterday. So they're ripening really fast now. And that is really good because it's one of the best years I've had for tomatoes. They're just everywhere. I'm very, very happy. Another celebration squash. And then I've just got my basil, my basil that's doing really well because it's hidden in here and I've got green basil too. I've got some peppers. Oh, that I just touched that basil. It smells so beautiful. Um, I've got a few types of peppers. Jalapenos and I don't know what they all are. It might be a pathfinder. Um, but I've been harvesting a little bit from those. Mostly I get those from indoors. And I have a zucchini down there, but I've harvested, so there's nothing there right now. The beans, the beans, the beans. I'm showing you those. I'm working on those still. Still lots to go. More runner beans. The, uh, the close hurricane that we had there didn't quite hit us, but enough wind to knock that over. I've just left it. And I tied a string so it can hop across. This bed, it, it has a huge borage plant. The peas are gone. The, um, oh, I had these crazy tomatoes last year that I said I would never grow again, but obviously one hopped over in this bed. And uh, they're starting to produce. They're so cute. Like, this is the tiniest thing that the plant grows huge, though. Now I've got beets. Uh, broccolini, broccolini, broccolini. I swear I just harvested from this yesterday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it's great. It's healthy. It's just so much. Yeah. Brussels sprout. More beans. I had great success with Mizuna this year. Uh, it was hidden under, and so I think it grew best because it was again interplanted and hidden. It's going to seed now, but that's late for going to seed for that. I've got lettuce hidden underneath, carrots, and celery. Uh, we'll see as as plants come out as I pull the broccolini out. We'll see how those go. And then over here is my, uh, the last bed I put in, and it was just some afterthoughts. So there's some more corn here, has all the silks. I don't know if they're getting pollinated or not. Brussels sprout, I noticed the other day, these were some very not unhealthy plants that I had, but now they're starting to flower. They were left on my balcony, I forgot, or my veranda, I forgot about them. But look. That's great. Beans that I'll leave for um, shelling later. And I'm not sure even what these are. I think that's a, oh, yes I do. That's the first time I've seen that. It's a cauliflower. So that's a cauliflower. A tomato I put in by seed. See if that happens to uh, produce anything. Some lettuce. And then I've got to, this has looked terrible throughout the season because of slugs. I've just left them. But interestingly enough, um, they've all been beautiful. So the slugs just like the leaves, and they leave the turnips alone. And I bring these in right now because I don't have the rutabaga for any of my stews and dishes. 
And I see I've got Swiss chard mixed in. I've got lots of carrots mixed in here. You can't see. There's some beets. Looks like a mess. But it's producing fantastically. There's a Brussels sprout. And there's a late squash. I don't know if that's going to produce. And that's my beds. So lots of wonderful harvests, but uh, there's still a lot to go, I think. So I thank you for joining me on the little walkabout. It goes by fast, doesn't it? But the joy is all the healthy eating and stored produce. So I'll get on with some of my jobs. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care.